Hello and welcome to another site audit by Simon Kensington from Kensington SEO. Looking at offering some uh, insights and advice to local businesses on their websites. And I have picked uh, this site not for any particular reason other than uh, I was looking for local businesses that I could do an audit on. So as usual with the audit, I will start off looking at it from a visitor's point of view and looking at the three questions that a visitor usually asks themselves when they hit a website and that is uh, what is it, what is it about and what's in it for me. And then we will look at some other on-page uh, conversion uh, optimization issues that there may well be and then we'll look at some uh, SEO optimization issues and see whether or not there are opportunities to improve the organic rankings of this website. So looking at it from the from the what is it, um, it's a website about virtual assistants. I can see that right away. Um, there's a nice professional logo, it's, uh, that gives confidence. Uh, it's a nicely laid out site. Uh, there is a nice uh, kind of tagline up here, efficient, affordable, approachable. So I'm already getting that if I am looking for a personal assistant or a virtual assistant, that this is the place that's going to help me. And if I'm looking for somewhere that's efficient and affordable, then that's good too. So um, there's looks like there's some interesting navigation here, which... Um, is, is it can work in, in a couple of ways. It can either be, um, it can be missed because it's not conventional. Um, so you need to be careful and, and I would look at the click-through rates on these and see you know, whether people actually realize that these are navigation um, and whether or not you know, these are actually um, better navigation and um, the, whether or not you actually need these here, perhaps this, this real estate prime location could be used for something more um, that would drive more conversions. Um, we've got a video that's been nicely optimized with a call to action question here. Would I, what would you do with an extra hour in your day? So that is really useful. Videos do help sites rank. Uh, they also help keep visitors on the page longer, which is good for, for overall rankings. So generally speaking, this home page is laid out um, very nicely. There's some text here and uh, another big image here. Images are nice and eye-catching, um, but again, you know, you've got all this prime retail space, as it were, um, may well be better used for a call to action um, because that seems to be one thing that's missing um, from the page here is a big call to action hit me with a tell me what to do button or headline or something so what's my next step um, and you should really be asking for that um, so that it's really obvious what the visitor should do next from a uh, legal kind of perspective, uh, we're good. We've got the cookie consent here. That's, uh, that's essential for UK businesses operating in the European Union. Uh, at the bottom here, we have got other useful and important issues uh, covered, such as the privacy policy, terms and conditions, uh, cookie policy, terms of business, all those kind of things. So that's um, also very, very good. We have also got the legal thing covered here for a limited company. Um, we have uh, down here the, uh, I'm guessing this is the business uh, address, which may well tie in with the Google My Business page if there is one. So that would be, uh, that's important to have that on all of your pages so that Google can tie your um, Google My Business page with your website. And then we've got links to some of our social channels, so they all seem to go to the right places, which is great. But overall, nice eye-catching site, um, got most of the basics covered, 
So I think the only thing really to do to improve it would be a big call to action button. So let's move on to some of the technical um, things. Page speed right here. This is Google's own page speed tool and Google now uses the mobile version of your website uh, to rank the both the mobile and the desktop version. So you need to make sure that your mobile version of the site is as uh, well optimized as possible because it will affect your search engine rankings. And as we can see here, that um, we've got a poor rating here. Um, usually this is referring to the speed of the site. So if the site is loading slowly, then that's a big no-no in Google's eyes. So um, uh, optimizing images and various other compression, caching, those kind of things. Um, a fairly straightforward um, fix. I think this is, uh, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, it's a Google, uh, sorry, a WordPress website. Um, Genesis is um, is usually a framework that loads really, really quickly. So I think there's probably just a few um, issues with regarding to the image optimization. I mean, big images like these um, perhaps need to be optimized a little better and adding some a caching plugin would be, um, would be useful. And on the website, it's better on the website, um, but again, there's still uh, opportunities for improvement there. Um, this web page test is a, a queue, so we'll have to wait. If that hasn't finished by the end of the um, review, then we can uh, look at that later. Now, structured data. This is um, an opportunity to put some code on your site that will tell Google exactly what your site is about, tell them about your business, what your business does, um, what other um, on uh, what other sites you've got on the web that are linked to this, such as your social channels. Um, and what we've got here is website markup, which is um, not really very helpful. All it does is just tells them that it's a website. Um, we've got creative work. That isn't particularly, that's really, that's not the, the uh, that's not the correct markup to use. Creative work is more for reviewing things like books or um, documents, papers, those kind of things. Uh, really what I'm looking for here is local business markup or professional services markup where you can be um, specific with exactly what your site is about. And um, so there's a missed opportunity here to make it um, clear to Google what this is uh, and what it's all about. Um, the web page word counter. Looking at the number of words on a page, there's been some tests done recently that prove that sites with more words on them will rank higher. Um, looking at somewhere in the region of 300 words, very basic minimum on a page, um, that's not very important, moving up to 500, 1500, even 2000 um, words on a page that is really important to rank. So we've got 419. I think there's an opportunity to perhaps add some more words to that, um, but it'd be interesting to do a comparison with the other um, competitor websites to see whether or not there's any uh, benefit from improving the word count on there. Looking at how this site is shared, how it looks when it's shared on Google, um, we've got here uh, an app ID that could be created. This is a plugin in WordPress, I expect that's generating this and the, it hasn't actually been set. It's possibly through the, the Yoast SEO plugin. Um, so that could be um, better optimized. Um, this is how it looks when it's shared. So it's actually um, a good image. It tells you uh, or tells the viewer exactly you know, what you do uh, and how you can help them. Adding a phone number in there might help people to, you know, when they see it, to give you a call. Um, and you can also look at this text here. 
Um, one of the things that you can do is you can set this up to have a video. So the video that you had on the home page, you could actually set that up so that when it, this is shared, you get the video showing up, which is really cool. So this is your open graph data. So it's good, better than most that I see, um, but an opportunity just perhaps to, to tie up the loose ends with that. Now, this is all of the pages that are indexed from the site on um, Google. And as we can see, there's 180 pages that are listed here. And um, we can see that there are all sorts of different pages. Now, what I'm looking for here are what are known as thin content pages. Um, and those pages are things like tag pages, author pages, category pages that haven't been properly optimized, um, that have got their way into the, uh, the, the search index. And if there are any, I can't see any just yet, so oh, here we go, tag. So if we look at this, this is just a page that has got um, a tag on it. So all of these, um, these tags here, so every one of these tags is going to be generating a new page and this content is going to be duplicated on all of those tag pages and that's going to possibly give you problems with what's known as duplicate content. So from a tag point of view, um, you can use them. Um, ideally, you want things tagged with just one category um, and you certainly want to be de-indexing all of your tags uh, to avoid that um, duplicate content. So there is some things there that you can look at. Um, let's a quick scroll through um, here, see that we've got another tag page, tag page and so on. Um, no, we're still waiting for that. So let's just go over to um, this tool here is a free tool. It's uh, Screaming Frog. And basically what it will do is it will look at your site in the same way that Google will look at it. And it will give us some um, information about the page and how it's all set up. So I am looking here. These are all of the pages. We can see that we've got category pages indexed, we've got date pages indexed, um, and more date pages, more date, we've got more tag pages. Um, all of these dates and tags, really, uh, they're weighing your site down. They are pages that are either duplicating content or they're pages that have got um, uh, unnecessary content on there. So you really would be a um, good idea to get rid of those uh, by de-indexing them. You can do that through the Yoast SEO plugin that you've got on your WordPress site. Um, and once you de-index those, after a while they will drop off of um, Google's search engine, which is uh, good to know. So we're going to look at page titles. Page titles are essential because they are what Google uses to index your page. So we need to look to make sure that uh, we've got any missing. No, nope, we've got no missing ones. Have we got any duplicates? OK, we've got some duplicates here generated by the blog. So um, need to make sure where you've got multiple blog pages like this, that you've got the rel and next function added so that that is properly catered for in Google. Otherwise, it may look at duplicate content issues on those. So just worthwhile checking that you've got the rel previous on those. Um, now, 65 characters, there is a limit of or an optimized length of your title tags. And that's between sort of 65 and 70 characters. So we've got all of these are over that by quite some way. So you really want to look at optimizing these title tags so that they are shorter um, and more keyword uh, orientated. Meta descriptions. So missing meta descriptions are the little bit of text that shows up in the Google search engine under the, uh, under the page or the URL. 
important from a uh, click-through perspective because it's your opportunity to write an ad for the page. So the more compelling that you can make it, the more likely it is that someone will click through uh, and the more that people click through onto your page the, for that search query, the more the higher Google will rank you for that search query. So meta descriptions are um, essential on a page. Meta keywords, we haven't got any. That is good stuff. We don't need those. H1 tags, uh, missing. We're missing H1 tags, but then these are all these uh, tag pages. So they will be de-indexed anyway, so that's not important. Um, duplicate, uh, we've got some odd pages listed here. Um, we've got a home page test, so we want to make sure that that is uh, de-indexed. Um, or at least put a 301 redirect on there to here. Um, I'm just looking at the pages. Have we got any uh, missing pages? Right, we've got a load of pages here that need to be dealt with. Um, although having said that, well, yeah, some of them are page not found. These are the tag pages. So these four, uh, 400 errors, these need to be um, fix this is like broken links so it looks like someone's linked out to this mompreneur um, and that page is now gone so that needs to be fixed h2 tags um, well we've got uh, a duplicate uh, h2 tags h2 gives another opportunity for a keyword uh, variation of the uh, for the the, uh, for the keyword you want to rank that page for so it's missed opportunity here just by having this default one that's really confusing Google completely um, and then we've got duplicate h2 tags you can have a multiple h2 tags but it would be better to use it as an h3 tag um, and organize the page better images looking here for big images we've got some very big images here so we want to make sure that we optimize those for the reasons that we mentioned earlier about uh, site speed um, and that kind of thing. Um, missing out text. Um, when you have an image, Google can't understand what that image is. So you have an opportunity to tag it with some text which you can use to describe that image. So it's best practice to make sure that that's got some keywords in it so that Google can understand that that image is relevant to the page. Um, and also they can show up in the Google image search, which can again drive traffic to your page from there. So um, overall, there are quite a few technical issues that can be addressed, which will help make this page even better uh, than it is. So um, good things, we've got the secure page here. Um, we've got uh, all the various bits and pieces that we need down here. So all in all, it's a good effort, but I think there are opportunities to um, be able to improve this site even uh, further. Just trying to see what happens when I put that into Google. So we've got the site here coming up, which is good. Um, but I don't have any Google My Business data coming up here, so it's possible that there isn't a optimized Google My Business local page. So um, if there isn't, then that certainly would really help to benefit the site being found in Google. So overall, um, a pretty good effort, some technical issues and some conversion optimization things that can be looked at. So if you find that you want to have a chat about this, then feel free to get in touch. Um, you can find us over at kensingtonleaguebuilding.com.